Hey everyone, I just want to do a quick follow-up video to my type 3 video that I did a couple weeks ago. Now, the reason is because I found, I remembered some examples that I, uh, I didn't mention and that are important. So, what is it about the 3 that irritates the 4 and also the 8? Um, you know, I've said that what I've noticed is that you can very often sometimes figure your type noting if you notice which types irritate you and which don't. Like, certain types are going to annoy you more than others. Like, um, threes love nines because nines don't want attention on them and they give it all to the three. Um, threes love twos because twos love to give the attention to the three. But fours feel like, we're kind of feeling like we're being cheated. Because we're like, well, why are you getting all the attention when everything that you've done is rather straightforward and conventional and everyone, anyone can do that, so what? So, um, the sin of the type 3 is deceit. And what that means is that a 3 is a shapeshifter. A 3 is a chameleon. A 3 knows how to meld themselves into whatever culture or environment they're in to learn how to achieve or succeed. So they know how to, oh, better hold back this and show off that, um, depending on whatever environment they're in. I mean, we could go back to the hunter-gatherer days and they'd have the best bow and arrow or the best tools or the best, you know, um, they'd collect the most meat or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, it, it can be in any culture whatsoever. Um, cause this is, you know, innate into, into humanity, into human, humanness. Um, so it's within us. In other words, it doesn't matter what culture, that's what I meant to say. So the four is about authenticity as is the eight. And it's interesting when you do get someone like a, th a three with a four wing, they're going to be battling with themselves, sitting there saying, am I being fake as fuck? And it's your four wings going, yeah, you are. Yeah, maybe you should tone that down. You're kind of coming off like a kind of phone, like a phony. Um, and then the two wing for the three is something that allows them to be kind and consider others. It's not just about me. And you know, but w this is also, um, I've mentioned how important it is when a three can integrate to six, because when a three integrates to six, they are no longer as competitive. They're no longer me, 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 but it's about everyone. It's about, they can recognize that other people have gifts too, that we all have something to add, to contribute, and that your talents and skills and achievements and spotlight on you does not detract from me. And that, that's an integrated three. Now, I used to know a type 8 who seemed to be able to sniff out all the threes. And this is even before I knew the Enneagram, but only in retrospect upon, you know, thinking about it and talking about it with somebody else who knew the Enneagram, we're like, yeah, everyone that she had problems with seemed to be a three. Very much a show-off, in other words. Unhealthy. And I can't say every three, of course, but those unhealthy traits of the three where they, they feel the need to be braggarts, and um, that, that rubs the four and the eight the wrong way. But I found that the, the types that tend to worship threes are twos, um, nines, some counterphobic sixes, you know, maybe some ones that are really just, you know, super ass kissy. But sevens, generally not. Eights, no. And it's, it's very interesting. That's how you can, you know, in fives, not really, you know, like, um, and fours just resent them. <laughs> because, like I said, as fours, we're like, what have you done that's so special and unique? Like, what, what's so great about you? And, you know, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say that a three can't be a visionary artist. Any type, you know, I, I think is capable of that. But I think you see so many visionary artists coming out of the type four because as fours we feel misrepresented, we feel, un, you know, we feel like we don't belong in the world and we feel like the world wasn't, you know, we're not made for this world in the way and so our perspective is different than everyone else. Whereas a three's perspective blends with the world. A three merges with the world. So that's why, you know, 
there's a lot of you know quality artists who are threes but a lot of them tend to be performing artists or artists who have itch know how to achieve or they fall into like a convention like I think it's I, I'm, I would guess that Taylor Swift is probably a type three a three with a four wing because she was in country music and then she realized that maybe pop music was more her thing and so she merged she changed to know what suited the industry and the culture and you know while her music is popish and as a four of course you know I hate anything you know popular I'm like ew but you know if if a, I'll be honest if a Taylor Swift songs on the radio you know I'll listen to it it doesn't mean I'm gonna buy her album but they're you know pleasant enough pop songs but they don't move me like you know you know Jim Croce does or you know Paul Simon or you know m musicians who would be fours but anyway it's just an example Th they know how to and in a way it's ra rather impressive they know how to market themselves they know how to um, achieve they know how to get that external success because they're all about that so I um, I used to have a boyfriend many many years ago like over 20 years ago like when I was like 20 and he was a three with a four wing and we met through doing these uh, science courses together we were taking organic chemistry and he wanted to be a doctor and but he was complaining that his job at his university was um, being in a lab crushing sh um, fish bones and I remember thinking me as a four wing five I would love to do nothing more than crush fish bones all day as my job I mean seriously alone in a lab you could play some music crush your fish bones think about my writing heaven but no he wanted to be out in an office where he could talk to people and sort of be that like that entity that thing that people look up to he needed that now here's the annoying part he was a social three he was a social self prez like I'm a social self prez four so he's a social self prez three and what I would notice was that when that four wing would kick in he would behave like a social four when that four wing was kicking in like he would cry literally he was also a narcissist but he would cry to get sympathy and he would cry to get attention so it just like with the type four social that's what I am I will I can't hold back my sadness and I will cry and underneath all that is the hope that if I show people my suffering enough someone will come to my rescue and make me feel better so he was doing that now he he lost some money in his account he was a college kid so he had he thought he had one day fifteen dollars in his account and I guess he went shopping or something and he went to go buy his groceries or whatever and he didn't have fifteen dollars and he said he started he called me up crying I don't have fifteen dollars I thought I had fifteen dollars and I'm like so so what's the you know he's like I feel like such a failure that's what he said I feel like such a failure not oh my god how am I gonna pay my rent not how am I gonna buy my groceries nothing worrying about his self-preservation it was all tied to the image people will now think I'm a failure I feel like a failure and I remember saying to him I knew nothing about the Enneagram I wish I did I said to him you really need these external measurements to feel good about yourself and he admitted he's like yeah because he was really insecure so through knowing him I, I came to learn that threes can be they are extremely insecure when they don't feel like they have that they just need this sort of collective admiration now inevitably it didn't work out between us because I found him fake he ultimately wanted me to sort of admire him he was also like I said a narcissist so he wanted me to admire him put him on a pedestal which I refused to do because I'm like what's the point who cares you're just some you know you just want to be some you know um, family practitioner big fucking deal I want to be a writer you know like from my perspective I'm like what's who cares you know so um, there was that competition between us so he was resentful that I didn't um, like I said admire him and um, I also wasn't as social 
enough for him. Like, I didn't like to go out and things like that. But it makes me feel like, I think that LinkedIn is sort of like a three's wet dream. I mean, I can just imagine all the type threes going on LinkedIn. And I know someone, um, a friend who's, uh, who is very much a type three, and one of the things she does is she job hops and like her her it's like almost like a hobby for her like every year and a half to two years find another job and, and it's like her hobby is getting recruiters to contact her and this gives her a fulfillment and I said to her once I'm like you know every time your current job gets frustrating you just go out and send out a slew of resumes yeah I do I do and it's like why are you doing this like you'll she'll just apply for jobs that she probably wouldn't even take anyway, but it's like, it's like she just wants to know that companies would want to hire her. And to me, I can't think of a, more of a colossal waste of time than that because I'm not someone who does that. I'm like, if I find something that I'm comfortable in and that I feel like I've gained competency in, I will stick with it until it gets to be too overbearing or I need a change because I'm a writer and I don't use my job in terms of you know my job everyday job which I use to make money as my identity I don't feel that represents who I am I feel my writing represents who I am so a lot of that sort of battle that I feel with my three pull of myself is really kind of this resentment that I wish I had had more external achievements or more external acceptance from society because then I'd feel better about myself then I would know, then I wouldn't have to constantly argue and prove to people my, my worth. Because I'd say, look, motherfucker, I got this award or that publication. And it's all bullshit. I mean, really and truly, none of it matters. Um, so that's what I have to tell myself. And that, that's with the integration to one. And that's also my five wing. But, you know, it's a constant, you know, telling of myself in my head. And... You know, I have been very too like since this whole pandemic hit. I'm very much like, I feel like I behave like a two. Like I want to chit chat more and I want to like reach out to people more. And um, I'm probably going to do a video pretty soon about type four and wardrobe because I have um, some, you know, some thoughts on that. And that, you know, or all the Enneagram types, you think you might be able to assess you know what they are based on their type and you just really can't because you know I went through so many phases in especially in college when I didn't have a lot of money I just wore whatever and especially like when I was going through a depression I was not putting on stylish clothes at all I was wearing sweatpants and sweatshirts because I didn't want to be seen because I didn't feel like I, I who I was represented who I wanted to be so I was like I wanted to be invisible because I was so depressed so anyway, how long is this? Okay, um, over 10 minutes. So that's all some, some observations I have. I'm not trying to rip on threes, um, but that's sort of why, you know, threes and eights, or I'm sorry, fours and eights can have issues, problems with type threes. And I actually, um, I like type eights a lot. I, I, I admire them for their authenticity. And they tend to, I've noticed, be... Um, least most of the healthy ones be very protective of me I guess they sense a vulnerability uh, of some kind um, being a social variant I don't hide that so anyway a um, couple observations I'm just I'm gonna do some more writing today it's a Friday I took off work to just relax I've been very stressed the masks have been irritating my skin I don't know if anyone else is having this, but I got a dermatologist appointment coming up and I just feel like red and I just need my, my skin to breathe. And um, anyway, so I'm going to do some more writing today and I noticed I was looking through my collection of Wallace Stevens and I've had this book now for, I don't know, 20 years or so and the pages are now yellowed. Like I've had it so long that the pages have turned yellow and I'm like, now this book is old. It's one of those old books, but it's my book, you know? So, anyway, um, hope all is doing well. I'll have some more videos. Um, I know I got some new subscribers, so I'm gonna do Enneagram videos, and I'm gonna do some talk about my writing videos, and try to keep a balance, and um, 
try to satisfy, you know, most everyone who subscribes. So um, thank you for listening, and I will be in touch.